I'm trying a bit of a new format over the next couple of videos, makeup videos that is, um, just to see what you think about it because I've already done my makeup look so you can see it now and then basically I'm going to go all the way back um, and not have any makeup on and do it from the beginning. Um, just I got bored of doing it the other way. So I'll probably be saying exactly the same thing on the next makeup video because um, actually I recorded that before this one doing everything completely back to front at the moment so yeah this is just um, I'm on my way to a casting very very natural makeup um, but you know bit of an eye not much of an eye bit of contouring and uh, just very fresh and natural and a little bit glowy don't know if you can see that sparkle there so that's today's look and hopefully it'll be very quick um, so let's go back to the beginning. Don't scream, it's still me. Um, let's get some makeup on quickly before I scare the neighbours. First of all I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Base. This is in Intensity 2. I've mentioned this in another video I think, but it's my new favourite um, base this week. As you've probably realised by now, I'm quite fickle with my favourites. Um, it's one of the downsides of having a lot of products and also having a lot of products used on me at work because um, I just see so many lovely things and then I have to have them. So you can see that went on really easily and I'm just using my fingers to blend. Such a perfect colour for me. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. This is Estee Lauder's Disappear Smoothing Cream Concealer which I've mentioned also before um, and this really is my favourite concealer of the moment you'll have seen me use double wear in loads of videos but I just find this one a little less matte in finish which is nice for in the winter and you've got that kind of parched skin now I'm going to finish my skin off with another product that I love at the moment and it's also by Estee Lauder, sorry about this, we're a bit MAC and Estee Lauder orientated today so I apologise in advance. This is a Silky Powder Blush in number 19 which is nude and it's got very slight shimmer to it but it's literally one shade darker than my natural skin tone. And if you have very, very fair skin, you could use this as a bronzer. I mean, very fair skin. And it just gives a really kind of... Well, actually, I'm just using it as a contour, really. Uh, not even for colour. So, just to give a bit of shape to my face. And accentuate cheekbones and head bones and eye bones, whatever they're called. Uh, so that's that. I think it's really pretty and it's going to have run out by the end of next week because I'm using it so much, which is a bit ridiculous. Now eyes, I'm going to do a little bit of mascara and I'm going to be doing separate videos on these, but these are MAC Look in a Box sets. And um, basically, it's kind of what it says on the box, um, you get everything inside this box to create a certain look. So this is Rock Chick and you've got some silvery and black eyeshadows, um, a lash building mascara, black eye pencil and really nude lipstick which I'm actually going to use. And then in the other box which is Girl Next Door you get an iridescent powder, a mascara, a lip gloss and different eyeshadows. So um, I am going to do two separate videos showing you exactly what you get in there and how it looks when you put it on, um, but not yet because I've got lots of other things to do first. Um, so I'm just going to pick a couple of things out of these boxes and I don't actually want a really full on look, this is just supposed to be a natural look to go to a casting in. So I'm just going to sweep some shadow over the lids and this is called Grand Entrance and it's a frost eyeshadow. See that there, it's a bit shimmery. And literally, as simply as that, I'm just sweeping it across the lids. 
without a mirror, which probably isn't the brightest thing I've ever done. Lovely. So just a really subtle shimmer there. And now I'm going to use a bit of Zoom Lash. This is just in black, I think. Just check. Yeah. Zoom Black. And I'm just going to do one coat. These kits, by the way, um, they're travel retail, so they're available at MAC Duty Free. I'm going to use a little bit of the iridescent powder in um, Be Lightful, just to give myself an extra bit of sparkle. I don't want this to be particularly sparkly. Um, I just want it to be kind of glowy and fresh. It's got a nice bit of shimmer to it, if you're into a little bit of shimmer. Now I'm using a Clinique Cream Shaper for eyes, that's in brown. It's actually part of a little set that comes with um, some little eye products. It's called Bold Eyes To Go and it works out to be quite good value. I'm into my little travel sets at the moment. And I'm just going to take that along the lash line. And I'm leaving that quite soft, it's not a really kind of hard, definite line. And that's all I'm doing with the eyes. I told you this is going to be a really natural look. Lips, I'm using a lipstick out of the Rocker Chick Mac box. Mac in a box, look in a box, whatever it is. And this lipstick is Hue and it's the glaze finish. Hue, H-U-E. Um, so it's really quite nude, but it's like a peachy nude. So it's quite easy to wear. Just grab a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. It's pretty sheer and forgiving, so I'm just using it straight from a lipstick. But actually, after just two applications, it's quite a nice, intense colour, um, but really, you know, quite glossy. It's actually my favourite kind of texture of lipstick, really. So. Yeah, that's another nice little addition to that set. I really like those MAC look boxes. I think they're a good idea. Um, well, I like everything that I've used today. All, a lot of my new favourite products. So there we go. That's just my very, very quick before going to a casting kind of look. Um, you'll notice that I've sprayed my fringe back. It's just because I can't be bothered to do it today. It's out of sheer laziness. And also I kind of miss not being able to see the shape of my face um, when I'm doing <laughs> my videos, it's kind of having the fringe down here and I can't see what I'm doing. So it's so you can see what I'm doing as well I suppose. Anyway, I'm nattering on, I'm completely late, so I'm going to go and I'll see you in the next video.